Working Women. It is Pearl Galbraith. I am author of Lemon Crushers, and I welcome you to this webinar, a chance where we just get to sit and have a conversation and talk about how to become a lemon crusher. Now, you might be wondering, what is a lemon crusher and why do I care? Well, let me tell you the definition. A lemon crusher is a spunky, intentional, confident working woman. Someone who proactively sets up their life so they have less adversity, fewer challenges, less headaches, and that means more fun. So if that appeals to you, if you're going, yeah, bring it on, well then you want to be a lemon crusher. That's what this is all about because ladies, I know I'm a working woman. I absolutely understand the stresses on your life and the life of all our other working women sisters. We, we bear the burdens so often of our own life and we take on a lot of responsibility in the workplace. And many of us have as much responsibility out of the workplace as we do in. Ladies, we need to be lemon crushers. We need to be lemon crushers so we can elevate not just ourselves, but our careers and the people we love and our community. And ladies, we can do it. I know we can. Adversity is not fun. The whole premise behind the book, Lemon Crushers, is it is a guide for working women to reduce or eliminate adversity in their lives. So stay with me. Let's go through the guide. The first thing that I want you to do right now is make sure you have printed out the one page guide with that front and back because that is the review of the entire book. Everything in Lemon Crushers is condensed on that one page guide. I did it that way by intention because I know how challenging time is for you. And by reducing it to one page, you can get five minutes in your day to review it. So let's take it from here. How do we become a Lemon Crusher? Well, it's as simple as we need to peel your lemon to make lemonade. The P in peel stands for prepare. Ladies, this is where everything anchors regarding your future. If you need to go on a road trip and You've got 200 miles that you need to drive and your check engine light has been on all week and you've ignored it. If you happen to be on your road trip and end up beside the road broken down 100 miles in, your lack of preparation has contributed possibly to your adversity. So the more that we can prepare for our future, the more we can eliminate or reduce challenges coming our way. Now, in the book, what I've done is I actually broke prepare into five different sections because there are very distinct sections in our lives. The first one that I break down is health. Health, ladies, it's another foundation. If you are not healthy, if you do not have energy, if you are not mentally sharp, how can you serve yourself well and how can you serve others well? Being active and proactive in our health is an absolute necessity. The next area that I feature in the book and go into great detail on is finances. Ladies, why do you go to work? Well, if you're like me, you go to work to receive compensation. Well, how we use our money, how we manage our money, can either set us up for a future of chaos or a future of great confidence. 
It's all about the choices we make with our money. And this is where I emphasize make smart choices with your finances. The next area that we focus on in the book is relationships. Now, how the book is divided is the first half of Lemon Crushers is the guide, what we're reviewing right here. The second half of Lemon Crushers are case studies. What I did is I interviewed, I chatted with hundreds of women regarding adversity that they'd faced, and then I featured several of them in the book and their actual story. What you are going to find as you're reading the case studies is every single woman needed someone in their network to help them through their adversity. Relationships are incredibly powerful and helpful in our future. I can summarize it this way. You need to be a friend, ladies, before you need a friend. And the more you have become a friend to others, the more they will step up and help you in your time of concern. So how do we do that? We've got to foster relationships today before we need them tomorrow. Career. Ladies, my biggest emphasis in career is don't settle. Working for most women today is not a luxury. It's not an option. It is a necessity of life because we have established ourselves and we need income in order to maintain the cost of living. With that, with spending so much time in our job, at work, with co-workers, with colleagues, I stress and I encourage women so often, be in a job you love. A definition of success for the nonprofit inspired woman is Success for a working woman is someone who is fulfilled and has a job that gives her purpose and meaning as well as provides co financial compensation. That means we encourage if you want to live a more rounded life, a happier life, a less stressful life, do something you love. Have what you do be the lead and how much you make be the second. I've found that some women who simply pursue money, but they're in a work environment they really, really don't like, turn out to be miserable. And life is too short to be miserable. Really, really focus well on your career, ladies. And then the last that we need to focus on is circumstances. In the book, The Adversity of Circumstances is a catch-all for everything that's not covered under health relationships, finances, and career. Now, as you read the case studies, you are going to hear about women that experienced incredible adversity, heart-wrenching adversity, and maybe you also are one of these women, even if you weren't showcased in the book, and your life has been hard. Sister, I can appreciate where you're coming from. I probably haven't experienced half of the trauma that many of you have. But I can say this. As I interviewed the women in the book, and as we got to the, the end of the interview, and when I asked them a question, and the question was, do you wish the adversity did not happen in your life? Or are you grateful that it did? And I don't want to let too much of the cat out of the bag here, but I'm going to guarantee that you are going to be shocked when you hear the answers that the women gave. Because the answers they gave are, no, of course I did not enjoy the adversity. It was painful. It was hard. It was tragic. But because of the adversity, I am a better woman today. Now that's amazing. That's a woman who made, who, who be, basically became a phoenix, took their challenge and created something beautiful. There are beautiful things that can come from messy places. And that's another big message behind Lemon Crushers, is we can actually take our adversity and thrive as a result of it. So P is for prepare. The next letter is E. E is for expect. Ladies, adversity is going to come your way. 
It's just going to happen. When a woman comes to me with a why me lament, why is this happening to me? You know, my response is, why not you? A future without problems isn't reality. Every one of us is going to face problems, so we may as well expect them and prepare in advance. Then comes the second E, and this one is also incredibly powerful. It is for evaluate. When adversity strikes you, you have the power of choice. You can pick your attitude when lemons come your way. There is great power in understanding that we have the ability to determine our attitude. There is a window of time between when something hits us and we respond to it. And that's where your power lies, ladies. Let me tell you about the story of Bonnie St. John. Bonnie St. John was a disabled Olympic skier. Yes, she skied on one leg. She made it to the Olympics, which was a surprise in and of itself. And the first day when she's going down the course, she has the ski run of her life and scores right up with the top leaders. The second day, as she's waiting there in the starting gate before she goes down the run, she knows that if all she does is not fall, she is a medal contender. Well, she starts off the run on the second day. She's going down the mountain. All is going well. The finish line is in sight. And then ice. She hits the ice. And again, remember, she's skiing on one leg. And she goes down hard just before the finish line. She's lying there, but she realizes if I just get over the line, I can still score my time. So she gets herself over the line, and yes, applause, applause. Her time is good enough for the silver medal. What a phenomenal story, but ladies, there's more. You see, the gold medal winner also fell. Same thing, came down the mountain, hit the ice, went down, but you know what? The gold medal winner got up faster. Ladies, that's what life is all about. Adversity is going to hit you, but when it does, you have the power of picking your attitude and persevering in spite of the challenges that are coming your way. The last letter in Peel is L. L is for lifesaver. Ladies, as you are going to read the case studies, this goes back to relationships that I already have spoken to. No one, not one woman, talked about succeeding on their own. Every single woman had someone in their network, a friend, a colleague, a business person, a family member, a faith, their God, something. Everyone had a lifesaver that they could rely on and depend on. If you today have challenges and adversity in your life, one of my questions is going to be, who is your lifesaver? And if you can't answer that, maybe that's one of the reasons you have the challenges you do. Once you peel your lemon, we are then going to move forward and make lemonade. Now the M in make stands for move. Ladies, here is where rubber hits the road. You are the only one that can take you out of the situation where you are and progress yourself forward. As you read the case studies, you will read the stories regarding the women and the adversity that they had. And these women, they didn't know that they were following a pattern, a peel, um, your lemon to make lemonade. All they knew is there was a step and an opportunity in front of them, and they took it. Now, this step 
moving forward, moving and advancing out of their challenge. For many of these women, it was incredibly fearful. There was great trepidation. There was great anxiety because the women were moving out of where they were comfortable. They were moving beyond their comfort zone. But that's where the magic lies. One of the most powerful ways to encourage moving is to do a dream board. This is something that we use at Inspired Women frequently. We have Inspired Dream Boards. And there's a link at the website where you can actually purchase your own and do your own dream board night at home, either just yourself or with a group. I call it Dream Board Night is really a date night with your future. This is a time you get to sit and take some time. Usually it's in an evening when you've got no stresses, no anxiety, nothing on your schedule. And you get to take the time and dream about the future. Where are you going? What do you want to create? Where do you want to be? What experiences do you want part of your life? What kind of relationships do you want? How, what kind of a job do you want? Where do you want to go? Ladies, a dream board is a powerful way to map that. And when you map it and when you internalize it, that is great power to motivating you to move. So dream boards, do one. I strongly encourage it. And the last of our letters, the lemonade, this is the trifecta. This is the trifecta of leave and learn and laugh. Let me explain. As you are picturing your future, as you are considering the adversity that you're facing today, ladies, some of you, you may have to leave. You may have to leave a relationship, you may have to leave a job, you may have to leave a situation. This may mean that you might have to leave a city. You might have to move to another part of the country. I don't know, but you know if, if you are in an environment where adversity and lemons keep coming your way because of the situation you have put yourself, you might need to remove yourself from that situation. Learn, the second one. Let's go back to the example at the beginning of your check engine light is on and you need to drive a couple hundred miles and you choose to go anyway without ensuring that your car will not have mechanical issues. If that happens once and you end up at the side of the road and then in the future, same thing, check engine light comes on and you ignore it again and again, you end up at the side of the road, my comment would be you didn't learn from the first time. We need to learn from the lessons we've experienced. If you are not prudent with your finances and if you get yourself into cascading debt and then you get yourself out of it, but then you walk right back into more debt, my comment would be, did you not learn the first time? We need to learn our lessons and change from them in order to set up less adversity for our future. And the last and most powerful is laughter. Ladies, the longer I live, the more I appreciate that which gives me joy, that which gives me peace, that which makes me laugh. When you're making decisions for your future, fall into laughter, fall into that which gives you purpose and joy because that can round out a life for you which is happier, less challenging, less lemon-filled. Ladies, peel your lemons and make lemonade. Lemon crushing, it's an attitude. It's not a one-time thing, it's a lifestyle. We need to be proactive in creating the life we love. Ladies, I know that some of you are thinking, oh, but it's going to take work. Yes, it does. But think back to anything worthwhile in your life. Anything worthwhile, anything that you look at today and you're proud about and you can say, look at that accomplishment, that took effort. 
Well, that's what lemon crushing is. We need to step up and stop looking at life in the next five minutes and start looking at life in the next five years and make choices that can set ourselves as well as those we love around us up for a better future. Because, as we already know, adversity sucks. Sister, you got this. You are a lemon crusher. So where do we go from here? What's next? The very first thing is start with one decision today to create a better tomorrow. Here's a great phrase I use often in my practice, and I want a heck of clients could tattoo this on their arms. I would encourage it. Every single decision that you are looking at, think of these words. Compare it to what I want now versus what I want most. Well, right now, you may want a double tall latte. You may want a glass of wine. You may want a juicy hamburger. You may want a cheesecake. Yes, but what do you want most? Well, you probably want a healthy body with energy and vitality. What you want now. Right now, you might want those red sexy shoes that you saw on Amazon. Well, but what do you want most? Most is you probably want a lifestyle where you have enough money to pay your bills and you don't have to feel great anxiety living paycheck to paycheck. So I really encourage women, make better choices today to set yourself up for a better tomorrow. The next thing you have to do is you've got to celebrate your wins, girlfriend. You have to be your biggest cheerleader. Yes, I, I am going to be thrilled when you're moving in the lemon-crushing way, but I will not always be there to applaud you. No, I can't always come into your workplace and walk behind you um, as your fan club. You've got to celebrate you. Allow yourself to smile and to reflect on what great accomplishments you have made. The next thing that we've got to do, create your inspired dream board. Oh, have a date night with your future. Get our dream board. The website is inspired-women.org. You are going to love it. Set up a date night for yourself or do it with a bunch of girlfriends. It's a fun way to get you motivated for a better future. And another thing, send the Are You a Lemon Crusher survey to your girlfriends. If you're going, oh, gee, I know who needs to uh, check out this webinar. I know who needs to get this book. Well, send them the link to the Lemon Crushing Survey. See what their answers are or compare notes. Have a conversation. And as your tribe of working women sisters, let's advance each other. Ladies, you are Lemon Crushers. I want to applaud you for taking the time, sitting down, printing out the one-page guide, buying the book, being proactive, because what you're doing is establishing a better future for you. And ladies, when we create better futures for ourselves, we are a ripple in our community. Not only do we impact those, for those of us that have families or loved ones, we elevate them and we elevate the community. Girlfriend, you rock. Thanks for being a lemon crusher and I wish you a blessed day.